guys, so welcome back to my moving vlog. It's so echoey in here because there's literally nothing left. Um, I'm back at the old house today. I haven't been back here since um, moving over to the new house. I've kind of been back maybe once or twice, um, but those of you that follow me on Instagram would have seen that the last time I came back, I decided to drop a bright blue tin of paint out of the wardrobe and it went everywhere. The carpet is just destroyed. Like, literally, it looks like, you know that girl Violet from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? It literally looks like the Impalumpers have been like, let's squeeze her here to see if we can get the blue reduce out of her. The carpet is definitely gonna need to be replaced. So, that was fun, not. Um, so I'm back here now, I'm going to start doing the clean up. I wanted to show you guys the different things that um, I think is really important to do before you leave your old property. This is going to be things like the oven, the fridge, um, defrosting the freezer, so if there's any kind of frost in it, just make sure you defrost it and um, wash it all out. We will be doing that in a little while though and um, just a general tidy up like look for things like cobwebs just make sure that um most of the areas are as clean as you can get them um especially the oven because i do know that if you I, i'm not sure how it works if you're you actually own your house but i know if you rent you can actually get charged um for the oven to be clean so you don't want to be billed once you've moved out because that's just super annoying and it's pointless and it's a waste of money because I'm going to show you guys how to get the oven spotless for one pound. That is all it is going to cost you. Whereas if you didn't do this, it could end up costing anywhere between kind of 50 up to 100 pounds um, if you get billed. So let's get going on this hellhole of a house. It literally looks so bad. It's really sunny today as well, so I feel like I'm gonna struggle because although I am a sun baby and I love the heat normally, when you're like cleaning and you've got bleach everywhere and you're scrubbing away at an oven, it's not ideal, but we're gonna go with it anyway. Okay, so here is my freezer. I'm literally just pouring it out now. Oh, look, it's like the Titanic. Look at all the icebergs just like literally crumbling off. Um, so I'm pouring it out. I'm going to use my garden vacuum. I call it my garden vacuum. It isn't actually a garden vacuum. It is just a wet and dry vac, but I do call it my garden hoover. So I'm going to be using that just to get all of the moisture at the bottom where it's getting quite wet because the trays are currently in some bleach water in my sink so I'm going to go over and clean them in a second. So I'm just going to get out um, the water at the bottom with my wet and dry bag. completely done and the ice is completely melted I'm gonna bleach down the whole inside of um, the freezer those of you that are panicking now and being like oh my god she used her garden back in her freezer don't worry my name is Hayley Leach and I totally bleached the accessories before I use these so it's fine I'm not worried you don't worry we're all gonna survive this in here is all of my fridge stuff. So my freezer stuff is just here drying off. That's been in bleach water. And my fridge stuff I popped in the dishwasher. Check that your stuff that if you put it in the dishwasher, check that it's dishwasher safe first. This is, I often put it in here, so that's fine. That is gonna go back in the fridge now and then that will be the fridge 
finished and it will be nice and clean for the next people that move in here. Now we are up in my old bedroom, I am just going to hoover the carpet. So if you're moving out of the property, make sure you do this, just go over any carpet areas. And I'm also going to be doing the skirting boards. So let's get on and do that. I hope Mr. Shark is having a good day today because he is going to be put through his paces like literally ever there was a marathon that a vacuum cleaner could run today is it so i'm hoping that my buddy shark is um gonna be okay and survive this okay guys so i've vacuumed the room and the floor is looking a lot cleaner now there was loads of shrapnel on it from um where my husband has been coming back and like smashing things up like a rebel without a cause. Thanks Robbie the Ranger for that. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the skirting board. So for this, the way I like to do it is if you haven't checked out my vlogs before, then I have done an earlier one on this. It's really good idea for doing skirting boards to use like a paintbrush and some bleach water if you don't like using bleach that's also fine for this particular one i'm actually not going to bother using bleach i'm just using this um antibacterial spray i've sprayed about seven or eight squirts into this pot here and then filled the rest with hot water and then inside it is this brush here so this is actually meant for the toilet um, I've never used it on the toilet before, so don't worry. I don't like toilet brushes. I just think they harbour too many germs, so I don't actually have a toilet brush in my house, other than this one, but it's not used for toilets. It's used for the skirting boards. So with this solution, I'm gonna go all around this room in the skirting boards, because they're those really annoying ones, you know, the ones that have like the grooves in them. I don't have that at my new house, thank God. So they're easier to just wipe down with the cloth, but these ones, because they've got the kind of like um, nip inside them. I don't know what the term for it is. Anyone watching that deals in skirting boards, please write in the comments box what that is just to help people understand what i'm talking about it's like an indent into the actual wood so that's what my skating boards at this house have this is the old house so that's how i clean them so i'm going to go ahead and do that now also in this room i'm going to be i've brought a cloth up because i'm going to be wiping down all the walls as well there's just um a few scuff marks and these these are gloss walls so it comes off really quickly, but do check at your property if your walls are gloss or matte, because if it's matte, it's a lot trickier to start scrubbing because I've done it before and that's how I know this. And I'm like, come on, let's clean these walls. And then like there's paint all over my cloth. And I was like, whoa, why have you done this to me? What What's happened? You've changed. You've changed as a wall. And um, it's because it was matte paint and it came off on the cloth. So check that your walls are gloss first. So let's get going and finish this room. Hoovered. The last thing that I want to do is the door. For this, I'm literally just using this spray again. It's the citrus and ginger one. And I'm just going to spray the whole door, including the handle, and then just give that a quick wipe down. Before I finally move out this house, I am going to um, do all the windows, but I'm not going to proceed to do that yet because I haven't fully moved out. And I am a bit concerned that because of this, like, freak weather that we're having where it's like literally like oh my god have i stepped off the plane and landed in ibiza that there may well come a thunderstorm off the back of it there might not but i just like to err on the side of caution so i will do the windows at a later date 
just literally, I've just sprayed this on and I'm just gonna wipe it off with my cloth and then this room is done. Here is the oven. I'm just cleaning this now. What I've done is I've put the solution, um, this one is the Mighty Oven Cleaner and you can get this in Poundland um, for a pound, obviously. And it is actually really good. I've used this a few times now. You can obviously get Oven Pride and there's a few different ones as well. But I picked this one up. It does the job. It is just soaking now. The one thing I would say is, Get yourself some decent um, gloves. The gloves in this kit are not particularly good. They're more like gloves like if you're slapping on a semi-permanent hair dye as opposed to cleaning an oven. So I wouldn't bother with the gloves. Get yourself some good hard wearing gloves. And literally you just put the solution in, which I've done now. I'm gonna leave this overnight actually and I'm gonna come back in the morning to rinse it all out and um, I'm gonna be using my wet and dry vac again because it just means that any that spills on the floor, I can get up nice and easily. Like you can already see here. Look how gross that is. But I can literally hoover that up with my wet and dry vac and really then go over the floor, bleach all the floor and just get rid of any grubbiness. It is an oven, it is gonna get dirty, so be prepared for some grime falling off all over the place. But it is fine because if there's one thing I've learned from moving house, there is always gonna be a mess before it gets sorted out. Like my new house now was literally like a bomb's here and now it literally is my favorite place to go to because it's my home. That's just another ice block falling, that noise that you can hear. The whole freezer is literally like, melting away because the sunshine is um, beating in on it so that is those noises so I'm gonna carry on um, rubbing this stuff in you do also get these so this is like a bag and you just put the trays inside this so I've left I'm gonna leave these to soak as well overnight as you can see these are a bit grimy too and that is definitely already um, coming off the um, the black marks on it and stuff so I'm gonna come back to this in the morning and I will show you guys the results then look this is so funny I just wanted to show you guys as I'm pottering around this house cleaning look at the actual blue paint everywhere I go I'm like oh no <laughs> the smurfs have been in the kitchen as well look it's literally everywhere. I don't know how I managed to do this. You guys are gonna be like, oh my goodness. When I go upstairs and do the little house tour here and show you that room, be prepared to be absolutely shocked. And bear in mind, I did try and get it up with my um, wet and dry back and I could not do any more than what I've done with it. And I was like, this is not budging. Now we are moving swiftly onto the floors. So what I've used for this is my garden vac, which is the wet and dry one. And I've literally covered the floor in like a bleach solution with a mop. And then I've, it is quite wet, and then I've gone over it with um, the vac and it's just taking off the excess um, water. So I've done kind of half the kitchen, actually about three quarters of the kitchen. I've just got this little bit here to do. So I'm going to do that now. We are on the home stretch, guys. I'm gonna take you downstairs to show you how the kitchen is shaping up. I have never felt so hot and bothered and exhausted in all of my life. I literally am like, it's just been hellish. I went into the garden and was like, oh, I'll just jet wash. Um, the artificial grass and the patio, so I did that. And um, while I was doing that, I thought I'll also clean out my 
Hoover, the, the wet and dry vac, well, that was a mistake. Before I knew it, I, because of the power of the jet wash, there was like blue paint spraying everywhere. I've had to reapply my eyelashes about five times today, let me tell you. They're hanging in there like this time. Um, so I'm gonna take you downstairs and show you the kitchen. What do we think? It looks tons better, I think. Um, I've just organized stuff. It's pretty much good to go now. The artificial grass is nice again because I had better jet wash that. And I've just got the oven racks here that are melting away for the morning. And then here I've done like a little cleaning section with a towel. So I think it is coming along nicely. And the floor looks good as well now. I've put a towel down near the oven because that is going to drip overnight. Now I'm going to put a bit of a bleach down the toilet just because it's not going to be being used for a while. So I'd rather leave it with bleach soaking in it just to keep away any bad smells or any germs or bacteria. So that will just soak there until the next person uses it. That will not be us though because we are almost finished. We're six hours in to the clean at the old house. So far, I've done the kitchen partially because I still need to wipe the oven down because um, it's got the oven cleaner inside it. I have managed to do all the cupboards in the kitchen. So they're all done and dusted. The floor's been done. That's all nice and clean. The fridge and the freezer, I've bleached that out. So that's all nice and clean and defrosted it as well. I've also managed to do my bedroom. So that's good. And I've hoovered like the landings and stuff like that. And I've sprayed a bit of um, bleach spray around the bathroom, bleached the toilet. I've got three more rooms to do upstairs so i'm going to do those tomorrow because i have to go and collect my little cherubs now but i will be back again tomorrow to do that so make sure you guys watch and see what happens in the next installment of these what seems to be going on forever of the moving house vlogs i literally honestly thought we'd be done by now i haven't even done you the house tour yet of like the old house and then We've got the new house to all move into and be like, this is where our vlogs are going to be from now on. Say hello, feel welcome, because you are all welcome in my new home. Through the powers of YouTube anyway. <laughs> it definitely wouldn't be able to house all of you guys turning up one by one like, oh, hi, you said we're welcome. Let's have a bed for the evening as much as I would like love to. It just wouldn't accommodate everyone. So that is the vlog for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video if you have and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so because I have some more awesome content winging its way to you. Head over to my Pinterest. And there are the free printables on there for the moving out vlog. So if you want those, they are there. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and my Facebook page. I will see you all again next time on Hayley's Help. And we will finally be finishing the moving out part of this vlog. So it's going to be part three. And I'll see you all again. Coming up next time on Hayley's Health. I'm trying to kind of hide it with the leftover um, vinyl flooring from my bathroom, but I mean, I think people are gonna know. <laughs> my eyes just keep weeping, like, um, you know that tree that weeps? They're like that. And kick a uh, right 
I'm oh, sorry, I'm not really good with my lips and right, so I have to do that. You know, the old thing, right? That means left and that means right. Um, so then you come upstairs. Imperfection is beauty. Madness is genius. And it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. <laughs>